We went on the local scene to Silver Lake Regional High School, where art teacher Hannah Close hosted printmaker Althea Freeman Miller for a demonstration on block printing. There are so many different benefits to bringing a, a guest artist in. Number one, she has professional experience in selling her artwork. She has professional experience in managing a gallery space. She has professional experience in what it's like to go from school to like out in the real world that I don't have on a regular basis. It makes it amazing because not only are the students learning things about the medium that they would may or may not get from me, but I'm learning things that even I didn't know about. It was really interesting actually, like we talked about what's a commission, um, we talked about like how do you decide you know, what your prices are, or if you're going to sell online or in person, how do you balance your artist self um, and a business making and selling art, so um, yeah, I feel like I learned a lot too, even hearing myself answer and just so interesting to see what is interesting to them, you know. Students that don't really like know where to start can kind of have an idea of like what they want to do too and kind of just get inspired to do stuff on their own like she does. I also think that um, a lot of people get pushed towards college when she obviously shows that there can be other ways. You can do what you love and still make money off of it and still make a living. Um, honestly, I didn't even really know how to do the linoleum stuff, so I learned like pretty much everything about that. Yeah, I didn't know um, the process that went into printing at all, and she taught us all about how she has a big printing press and how she um, carves her designs out of wood on a bigger machine. This is a, a really nice little piece that one of my freshmen, my Art One students, did just this morning. That student pretty much had never done it before and dove right in and was able to create this thing that she's really proud of. Um, and I think everyone in the class, even though it was basically their beginning time, had to experience like, I created this thing and now I can make this other thing and, and I can refine it. And you know, it was a sort of an instant success and a fun, fun moment for all of them. This one's been really special because some of the kids had actual connections to the artist because she's so local, right? Because a lot of area students uh, visit Martha's Vineyard where she, her gallery is and where her work is on display throughout the towns. So I even had a student who had bought a piece of hers recently, which was su super fun. You know, it helps them get a sense that artists are real people and they have real careers and they're around. and. You know, they're not only in big cities and, you know, you don't have to be only a painter at, you know, the Jackson Pollock level to, to make it as fame, right? You can, uh, there's a lot of different ways to be an artist, just like there's a lot of different ways to be, you know, an uh, engineer, right? I studied elementary education, actually, in Vermont and eventually found myself at a point where I was like, what am I doing? What am I going to do with my life? And actually, my mom one day I remember her being like, what would you go do if you had nothing to worry about? You know, if you had everything that you needed and everything was okay, what would you go do today? And I was like, huh. And it was carving. Just went to carve linoleum and found that that was like really meditative and I don't know, I just felt myself when I was doing that. And so I just kept doing it for about 12 years and here I am. <laughs> I think we all have a creator in us. We are humans. That's part of us being is creating. And um, whether it's me creating the sentence I'm saying to you right now, or me creating the way I want to drive home, or the way I want to dance or make art. And it's a way to express emotion, but also like get into a flow state and to, to like really be with yourself as, as like a human. I just like to be an example that you really can follow that calling or you can stop and ask yourself like, oh, what would I do if I really could do whatever I wanted, you know? And so I really try to just live as an example of that. So this is a really cool opportunity for me. So we are super lucky in that we have three different towns, Kingston, Plimpton, and Halifax, that all have local cultural councils that uh, us as art teachers can apply to. And myself and Ms. McGuire have applied and over the last couple of years have been able to bring in numerous guest artists um, and with the generous support of the local cultural councils. Um, and, and also our PTO who supported us as well. So without the support of the parents and the, you know, the other families and other people in the town of Kingston, right, the, t the school doesn't get to do 
extras, right? Uh, they don't get to support on the breast cancer walk or the craft fair that was last weekend. They, you know, those things, you know, the, the children are not standing alone independently in their education, right? It all, it's a, it's a team effort. And I think sometimes we forget because we don't get to see into the classroom. So this is actually a cool opportunity that you get to see into the classroom and see what they're doing, um, what that grant money is supporting. To see more of Althea's work, visit AltheaDesigns.com. Thank you for watching this story about our community. To see more from the local scene about what's happening in the Plymouth area, subscribe to our channel. And if you have a story idea, send it to story at pactv.org. Thank you, friends.